that long ago, so some of them still got my memory tapes. It's been a while ago. Anyway, he slews the, the, the Philistines. They say, what are we going to do about this guy? This guy's a real problem. But they know the woman has an in. She can let us know where is the secret of his great strength. It was God where the strength came from. But the heathen didn't understand the power of God, of course not. Well, the next time Samson comes to see Delilah, um, uh, she did as she could, as much as she could, to find out the secret of his strength. And then she was persistent. I could say a nagging woman. Yeah, I better not go there on this. <laughs> My wife and Deborah nags. She really does. I'm, I'm serious about that. But my wife can be persistent. Women can be persistent. So she did the famous, ah, oh, come on, Samson, come on, you can do it. Let me know about this. She kind of works it over. Maybe a little extra perfume, hair looked a little better. <coughs> but the man was no, no match for the beauty of this woman. And finally, after persistence, the scripture tells us, he said, all right, the secret of my strength is this. My hair has never been cut. The devil, in the same way, can be persistent in temptations. He tempts us. And if we're not quite where we should be spiritually, we can give in. You see, initially, Samson would have been a tough guy to deal with. But after a while, she got working on him. And he started to lust after her, and he got off guard. And at that time, the Bible tells us Satan is like a roaring lion waiting to devour, and that line will wait for our weakness and our prey and then jump on it. It happens that quick. Where did his strength come from? His strength came from God. All the strength and abilities we have come from God. And then we read in verse 20, and he knew not that the Lord was departed from him. Interesting point. At first, he was totally unaware that the power of his strength had left him. Today, we see that illustrated in many ways. Men and women who have been living for Christ start to drift away a little bit. Don't pray as much. Don't read your Bible as much. Don't get involved in nice church activities and spiritual things. But I'm a Christian. I'm on top of this, they say. But then the things of the world start to little things. Start knocking the priorities out. <coughs> well now the Philistines, they go out like uh, so what happens, uh, they go out like Samson and um, we sample the living of the world and um, this begins to bring about our spiritual demise. Now let's be honest. Sinful things can be appealing. It's funny how the world is set up. Have you ever thought about this? Everything we do, why is it that something that tastes really good is bad for you. <laughs> now I'll take something I don't like. Spinach and Brussels sprouts. <laughs> They're good for you. Hope some of you like them. But I can't say, man, I can't wait to church to end to get into some of those Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Not really. We went to a wedding reception last night, and they brought out the dessert cards. Two of them. <laughs> with all kinds of sinful events. And I looked at them. And I looked at them. Finally, I walked up there. By the time that thing, those people descended on that sweet car, it looked like a locust had been. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of referred back to, to, to a, a heathenism of this barbarianism. I mean, they showed that table no mercy. And then I walked up to them. And there were a couple pieces of candle. <laughs> Only for a camel would have been neglected. I didn't even know. <laughs> I thought, let the camel be taken out of its misery and go to the rescue. All those things that taste so good. Why is it that the things that taste so good put fat on you? But the things that don't taste good, they build your body up. Lord, couldn't you make something that tastes like chocolate cake that was a vegetable? <laughs> it doesn't work. Now, I will tell you this, though. I believe this about heaven. Heaven's going to be you can eat and not get fat. You don't have to get diabetes. 
is to be on a diet. There will be no more pricking my fingers. I will eat whatever I want. And I'm going to be a tag of sex in heaven. <laughs> Funny, but the things of the world we're not careful start to creep into our life. 